hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am with the another subject that is chemistry for computer science and engineering stream students uh, 2022 scheme it is subject code is uh, 22 ches uh, 12 or 22 that is in first semester second subject and second semester second subject right so and also it is a uh, subject code is uh, b c h e s 102 or 202 so i will discuss some important questions to score in this uh, particular subject that is chemistry for computer science and engineering stream <clears throat> let me tell you friends first of all it is not a tough subject like 12th class where you are supposed to uh, write down the structures in the organic chemistry over there so it is not like that it is a theoretical uh, subject over here and a uh, little bit nu numericals are also there so you have to attempt first the module third <clears throat> which is the corrosion and electrode system which is a theoretical chapter over there and easier one so go for module three and try to cover these important questions which i will discuss in this particular video so explain the construction and working of calomel electrode it is a, a very important question over there always asked in the video examination as far as the 2018 scheme is concerned so definitely this time they will also uh, ask this particular question and also uh, describe the electrochemical theory of corrosion taking iron as an example right first of all you have to define corrosion and you should have some concepts about corrosion metallic corrosion and uh, describe the electrochemical theory of corrosion taking iron as an example so there are five to six points in this uh, electrochemical theory which you have to cover over there next one is construction and working of glass electrode and as you already know my dear friends syllabus is very vast in this uh, particular subject so you have to cover some important questions also if you cannot cover all the portions right then next one is explain uh, differential metal corrosion and water line corrosion next one is explain corrosion control by anode uh, anodization and sacrificial anodic method over there this is again a super important question in this particular module so focus on this anodization and sacrificial anodic method then describe galvanizing and mention its applications so you have to first know what is galvanization and then uh, you have to define galvanizing and mention its applications and some simple numericals if you are convenient uh, for this uh, particular type of uh, numericals over there for this variety of numericals that is calculate CR, CPR that is corrosion penetration rate so on this particular concept numericals will be there so try some uh, three to four problems also so that you will easily get 20 marks in this uh, particular module that is module 3 corrosion and electrode system over there then <clears throat> and also analy uh, analytical techniques uh, it consists of two ch uh, two chapters over there so if you just want to cover also second portion you can go through according to the model question paper but uh, this part is an easier one so go through uh, this particular uh, chapter over there then module fifth comes up it is again a theoretical part that is e-waste management which is easy one if you want to uh, concentrate on this particular chapter just try to understand the basic concepts of the e-waste e-waste management then uh, you can write it in the uh, own language over there if you want to cover this portion in your convenient language like uh, Kannada if you are convenient in Hindi you can just understand the concepts in that particular language which is convenient for, convenient for you people then you can write it in your own uh, words in the video examination I hope you are understanding my words over here then uh, you have I have taken some important questions as it is a theoretical full module is theoretical no numericals very least chances uh, in this particular module over here <clears throat> so what are the e-waste and explain the need for e-waste management <clears throat> is the first question next one is explain the advantages of recycling and recovery in e-waste over there then explain about sources composition and characteristics of e-waste so just try to focus on this theory theory over there then <clears throat> explain health hazard uh, due to exposure to e-waste and next one is explain the extraction of gold from e-waste write a brief note on the role of stakeholders for example producers consumers recyclers and statutory bodies this is a super important question in this uh, e-waste management so you just go through this particular question no, no need to leave over there so these are the six questions which i have taken important there are uh, there are a lot of questions from this particular module my dear friends if you are convenient if you have some potentiality in this uh, particular module to cover whole uh, syllabus 
so you can go through the module question paper try to understand some basic concepts from this uh, e-waste management right so these six are the important which i have taken over here then module four comes up which is a polymer and green fuels you may already come across this polymer chapter in the 12th class itself pu class itself so just focus on uh, the x plan the construction and working of photovoltaic cells it is an important question in this module as far as the module 4 is concerned also it was asking in the uh, 2018 scheme examination so this has an importance so that video has added this uh, particular concept that is photovoltaic cells in 2020 scheme or 22 scheme also right then preparation and properties and commercial applications of the kevlar right describe the hydrogen production of uh, photo catalytic uh, water splitting method this is an important one what are green fuels explain the advantages and disadvantages of photovoltaic cells mention the properties of hydrogen pertaining to fuel and it is advantages in production of energy so this much content is enough uh, in the module fourth right so just cover these portions to cover the module fourth also these are the important ones which i have taken it over here then module first comes up <clears throat> which is again a passing module module i can say that just because there are some construction and working principles uh, like uh, construction and working principle of you have to focus on these parts which i have mentioned over here that is potentiometry sensors thermal sensors question will be like that write down the construction and working principle of thermal sen uh, sensors write down the construction and working principle of sodium ion batteries like that right then electrochemical sensors conductometric sensors lithium ion batteries optical sensors so these are the seven parts uh, by uh, in which you have to practice a lot in the diagrams part over there and then you can write accordingly the working principle if you just understand the construction part and working part you can just write down it and memorize it is very easy to remember the working principle of these particular type of questions like sensors were there and also they will tell you uh, their applications like question will be construction and working principle of potentiometry sensors and also write down their applications four or five applications will be there right then what are quantum dot sensitized sensitized solar cells that is qdssc explain the working principle properties and applications of this particular quantum dot sensitized solar cells right so this is uh, the enough content in the module first so try to sort out these uh, type of uh, sensors over there so that it will be easy for you people to cover at least 16 marks from this 16 marks from this module first over there then module second comes up <clears throat> in which i have taken important questions like explain the types of memory devices by taking p type and n type semiconductor materials what are the memory devices explain the classification of electronic memory devices with examples mention any four properties of lc uh, displays and applications and mention any four properties and applications of qled so these are the uh, important questions from the model second if you are convenient if you have a lot of time then try to uh, focus try to cover all the syllabus over there if you want to score out of out over there 100 out of 100 uh, or 90 out of 100 so you have to focus on more than th uh, this much content over there if you just uh, want to pass this subject i hope this much content is enough to pass this particular subject not only pass you can also score 70 to 80 marks uh, by this con uh, content over there so focus on this fo uh, ponder on this particular content so that it will be uh, easy for you people to conquer this subject right so thank you for watching my videos